Hi everyone, Mike Brown back again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In the previous lesson, Retouching Part 1, I introduced you to the primary retouching tools, which were the healing tools, spot healing, healing brush, patch tool, as well as the rubber stamp tool. The differential between these two tools is that all of the healing tools calculate to try to determine what is inside the area you have selected and what is close by outside to see what needs to be removed or corrected. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. If you're working in areas that most of the area is nice and uniform, it's a wonderful tool. When you get close to edges, They've tried to improve it, but it still has a little problem when it looks in, into two different textured areas. It's going to sample part in and kind of doesn't work really well. In that case, you move over to the rubber stamp tool, which clones from one spot to another so that you can accurately replace a blemish with a nearby area. Okay, so we're going to start here in this lesson and talk about retouching people, which is what most people shoot anyway. I'm going to show you some basic techniques for retouching skin. I'm going to show you how to retouch eyes, teeth, and lips, retouching hair, and a little bit of nip and tuck body contouring. Okay, let's get started. Here's a photograph that a friend of mine took of this middle-aged gal, good-looking woman, but she's not 22 anymore. You can see, begin to see the age showing around the eyes. Uh, a lot of lines in the eyes, deep set. Deep set. She's showing a little, uh, a little blemishes in the skin. We're showing a little bit of neckline sagging here, and we've got various and sundry spots that need to be cleaned up. So the first thing that we're going to do is spot the image. This is always the way we start out, and for that we're going to use the spot healing brush. Remember how that works? Adjust your brush size, and again, I like to keep the hardness. You can play with this to see how well it works for you, but I like to keep it somewhere in around the 35 to 40 percent range, sometimes up to 50 or 60, but usually just under 50 percent. All right, so we'll just start with just spotting. Remember, all you have to do, again, it's in uniform areas. This is just wonderful. Notice how beautifully it removes these spots and how quickly. Now we could do this with the rubber stamp tool, but for every spot that you need to remove, you have to source a similar area and then paint it away, you know, literally paint it away. So it takes a little time to source and paint, source and paint, whereas with the healing brush, just find the spot and paint on it and magically it just removes it. This is really a time saver when they came up with, now see, right there shows you the problem with the spot healing brush. We were close there, and as we did that, this time it didn't get it, but sometimes it reaches out and it finds things that shouldn't be there. So you have to watch it when you're using that. So we go through, this is normal with um, retouching people. You just work your way through the blemishes and get the major ones and we'll get that one right near the lip one right near the lip there you can even take notice the age furrow in the uh, right here in the nose at the forehead we'll just paint right down there and look at that magically it removed that again we'll do up oh, see there we got a little pickup but we can go back and fix that you just got to be really careful it sometimes picks up other things a little more here, just a few more spots. I think that pretty much gets it. Notice we've got pores showing here. I'll show you in another lesson how we deal with those. Okay, you could do this for hours. Now we have gone so far from there. Let's look down in here, down to there. It doesn't look like much, but if you look closely, there's an awful lot that's been removed. You can even work on the age lines down here. Watch this. We'll drop the brush size down and just come up the line a couple of times there. And look, you can even remove those age lines. Just take that hair out of there 
and clean up a little of the age lines. Just painting on them. This is all with the spot healing brush. Does a great job on a lot of this. As long as you're in uniform areas of texture, you're in good shape with this particular tool. Look at this. Just cleaning it up. Just be careful that you don't take too large an area. I'm not going to clean all this, but I'm going to run it up. Let's even do part of this one here. Oh, yeah, this is working great. When it works, it's unbelievable. Look at this. Just absolutely amazing. We even go right under here and fix that up. Okay. Let's back out and see what that looks like now. Take this neck area. We went from there. Let's look at the neck area. Down to there. See all the improvement on that skin. Really nice. Okay. 